Regardless of which sheeting type you select, materials will degrade or become damaged over time. To maintain MUTCD minimum retroreflectivity requirements, it's important to measure signs. One way you can do that is with a handheld sign retroreflectometer, like this Road Vista 922. Let's start by pressing next sign and doing a practice reading. When taking a measurement, there's a button on the front of the device which needs to be depressed by making contact with the sign surface. It's also important to make sure to take care to keep the retroreflectometer upright. Changing the angle of the measurement when using a point device, for example using a model like the Delta GR3, can actually change the reading. This particular model is annular, so it won't affect the reading, but it is a good habit to take readings in a consistent manner. Making sure the device is flush with the sign, you'll want to do four to five readings per color. Now that you're finished with your background measurement, it's time to do the legend, or the letters in the foreground. So push the legend button to continue. On this particular model, you'll want to use this line and this line to line up the eye of the device. It should be very obvious when there's a lot of contrast on the sign, such as a dark green background with a light white background. There is an adapter you can put on the device to get a more precise reading for smaller letters. Once again, you'll take four to five measurements. If we look at the output, we can see that the average reading is 186 for the legend and 30 for the background. If you look at your retro table, depending on where this is mounted and the sheeting type, you need the legend to be greater than 250 in the background to be greater than 25. For this sign, the background passes, but the legend fails. So, in this case, you would have to fail this sign. 